Hello. Hey, Beth, how are you today? Hi, Judy, how are you? We've already had a few chuckles, haven't we? Oh my goodness, April 1st, happy full April Fool's Day out there, everybody, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I was reading about what caused, you know, how it started, and I guess that in like the BC something, they changed the calendar from April 1st to January 1st. So they called the people that didn't get the message fools because they didn't, they were still celebrating mm -hmm. on April fools. And that's, that's that little bit of oh, knowledge. Well, that's interesting. Uh -huh. That is so interesting. <sighs> wow. So that, that's cool. A little bit of history today. Um, yeah. So what, what are we going to do today, Judy? What so do you want to do? Uh, well, I think we've been talking a lot about channeling and we've been hearing from a lot of our people that uh, watch us and thank you very much for watching that we're not channeling. So today um, we're going to definitely uh, channel um, and um, this will be our first one, but it should be pretty easy. Um, Sylvia Brown has come in today and she Ooh, is a Sylvia very, Brown. yeah, very, she, was, she, she was a very famous uh psychic. psychic san jose i took a class with her 40 years ago 30 years ago and she told me who my angel was and she told me my career goal and maybe it's going to come true she said i'll be on the radio well uh, this you're is doing kind of like the radio right well in, the, in her day there was none of this so. i know <laughs> right I know. So, so i want to ask her if that's true and also she was uh gnostic that was her belief mm -hmm. and that's sort of the opposite of agnostic so if she comes through i might want to ask her about that yeah that okay? no she's she's here and okay. um she's yeah so i think she's ready to pop on in and i think she really just because i just feel like this I just got to tell you, I feel like she's sitting next to me right now. I, I just felt this feeling it when we were talking about it. She's just like sitting here. I hear her like she's got this voice. Um, you have this raspy voice. Yeah. Kind of raspy. Um, and she's but she's kind of got a raspy laugh and she's kind of with it today. Also, Deborah's here. So oh, I just, she's up Sister. there. She's like, hey, hello. Um, hey, does Deborah have any messages, by the way? <laughs> she's saying Beth go for it <laughs> you know what she means <laughs> oh I know what she means it's yeah is, that, that, is it the real deal or is the universe playing a trick on me she says play it one step at a time it's no trick. Oh, I know it I know she's no gonna April say, Fools. she's gonna be like just be patient okay and have fun Tell have her, fun well, Tell her I appreciate the red birds on my walks in the morning. Anytime I need her and I ask for a sign of a red bird man within a minute or two, boom, there's one and then there's the other. And you say that's my mom. So my sister is our, my guide and she's helping us. She named the channel for us. She got us started. She's a part of this and she's crossed over and yep. her energy is so beautiful and I'm so blessed and thank you. And that's why I can never let you go, Judy, because <laughs> you know what, this week I'm going to a cabin in the Black Mountains by myself and I'm nice. going to meditate, I'm going to journal and I'm going to try to connect with her by myself without you. Because I'm like so dependent on you. <laughs> yeah, and this is something, I. this is why I just get little messages here and there and she'll come and she's very open with messages, but she really is always saying, you know, talk to me because, you know, you, I do, I talk to her, but and, I don't hear her back. So Judy, when you're talking to her or Sylvia Brown, what do you see? How do you interpret that? Is it a voice? Is it a vision? What do you see? So both. So like right oh. now I see it's, it's funny. So like your sister, I see her, she's always up here in the right-hand side over up here. Um, Sylvia is, I don't, I feel like I've got to move over. I'm, I'm on this little chair and I feel like I, cause she's sitting right next to me. I mean, she, she was is a powerhouse yeah. and she was heavy and she's almost, yeah. she's almost like this heavy, bigger lady. And she's almost like, I feel like I'm kind of being kind of pushed and she's laughing as I'm saying this. And now her energy 
is she's here because she's in the show she's just like i'm in the show but she's a show right. but she was a show woman right she was on montel oh. all the time she was did a lot of really a really uh good work for people and talk I think, about extrovert extraordinaire that was one extroverted lady yeah and, and she's yeah i can't wait to talk to her go ahead she had a lot of messages just to you know come through so it's different it's 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 a little bit of clear audience i hear just like i heard her i can hear her <clears throat> i can hear her do things i can see and i feel so sometimes mm. you'll see me kind of sit back close my eyes or something and that's kind of like what what are they saying or, or or what is the message because sometimes they'll say things and it comes across like i gotta even sit there and go okay wait but let's put this together here so I can say it, you know, the the right way. Um, sometimes they just it, it's just clear as can be. Um, and yeah, so it's and sometimes you get visions, you said. I like, said, so, yeah, I see me. her. Now when I see her, I see her sitting by me, but I see it from my third eye. I don't see uh -huh. it like I look over here, she's not, I'm not like facing her. I know she's here. I know she's there because I see it because I see she's in spirit. Yeah. So, and she's showing me, she, I felt her just sit down, you know, it's just like, so she's, if she moves around, it's just heavy energy. It's just, um, I don't really have to move over. I feel like I want to move over. Um, and I think that she's, so it's like this feeling and I can smell smoke, almost like she smoked. I don't know. She must've been a smoker. Um, she might've but, been. Yeah. You know, everybody smoked back then. It wasn't really? a big deal. Yeah. We all we all have our vices, right? So um, and I, you know, so I think she's um, you know what, guys. So she's know. willing to join us today. I'm gonna plug my computer in so uh, we don't uh, end up uh <laughs> signing <laughs> out really days. early. We're very prepared today. <laughs> April Fool's Day, we know. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so anyway, so um you know what I wanted to say? I was looking, she was, uh, I remember her saying that she was Gnostic. And so I looked up Gnostic and it's the opposite of agnostic. So Gnos agnostic is a person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God or of anything beyond material phenomena a person who claims neither faith nor disbelief, so sort of neutral. And then Gnostic is um, relating to knowledge. They believe in knowledge, especially esoteric and mystical knowledge. So, I mean, I, I didn't have time really to research the whole thing, but I definitely remember she, I lived in San Jose. She taught a class at a community college. I went to the class and she had a church in San Jose. Yeah. That was a Gnostic church. I think it's Novus Spiritus. I've never been there, but... Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. I, it's, I think it's still going too. And I'm here in San Jose. I bet, it is, and I I should... bet, her, bet her son is running it. Yeah. Let's ask her. Yeah. Let's ask her. Let's, let's see what she's got to say. I think she's got a lot to say here. Um, and yeah, I don't know a whole lot about uh, Gnosticism either. So I just got to let you know that. I just know it's about what I'm feeling from her. And she's almost like, well, let me tell you, you know. So that's what I kind figured. Of, She'll tell kind of, us. Yeah just having that uh being part of god you know i think it's a very pure form of but anyway so okay so we're gonna i think it's since this is our first one um so beth why don't you want to kind of lead what we'll do is um we'll you can ask some questions we'll see where and we'll see where it takes us and then um if there's any other things that are popping in or coming through of course i'll keep going if there's okay. anything if she has any okay great yeah so tell me when she's here. She, oh, she's here. She's been sitting by me ever since we mentioned her, right before your sister got here. So you want me to lead so, and say? So right now she's saying uh, how what she believes in her Gnosticism, I think be just from what you were saying, she said that what she really, it's, it's all of that we are all a part of God. We all have like a spark. She's like a spark, like a, like a, a, a piece of God in us. Um, we're in our bodies, our bodies, just like all forms. It's almost like uh, everything has a soul. She says, everything is alive. Everything God created. Um, there is a Supreme God, but we're all part of the Supreme God. We're all one family. She says, um, 
it's really that simple. And I just don't get how people just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I like it. I, I um, get it. And you know what? I think people are going to start to understand it. And I have a little quote when, when it's time about that. Okay. So, I mean, this is how you usually channel for me. You just bring forth the information. Yeah, so, and I mean, I can do that, but as we know, um, and I think, I think this is why we're a good team here is like, you're going to keep me on track because sometimes as I'm reading, you know, I can go on and Sylvia has a lot to say, a lot of spirits do, and I, Sylvia has a lot to teach us and even from the other side. So she All might right, even. So, so let's ask her, how are you on the other side? Well, was, was it a surprise or was it exactly like you expected, Sylvia? She says, well, I'm with Francine, um, who is her guide, her guide, buddy, her guide. Her guide right? She says, and that was really nice to be with her, oh um, be with her again. Um, we live many lifetimes together and I'm, it's been very nice since I've been up here now and there is no, it, it's just nice. Um, I'm able to help people. I am able to help people up here even. So how I'm, are you, how is she helping people? How are you helping people, Sylvia? I help them with the light of God. There's a, she said, you'd be surprised at the people that pass over that go up that don't have that spark or don't understand that they are one with God already. And so kind of teaching them that they are part of God. She said, this is, this is what the Catholics call purgatory. It's like, and that's where we're kind of like me um, and uh, other, other angels and other people who are more enlightened. We sit here and we talk to these people and we teach them that. And so that way, when they're ready to move up to the heavenly realm, we, they go up, we bring them up there. Um, and she says, and that's a really exciting thing. So there's, so if you don't learn it on earth, you will learn it there or you know, and then, or you can come back. There's just a lot of things that, that can happen in, in this realm. And that the most important thing is that you are part of, we are, we're all connected. She says, we're all connected. We're all part of the spirit. Um, we're all part of God. We're all one. And her job in this life and probably many have been as a teacher and she's still teaching on the other side. That's yes. So that's why she came down, you know, to, to teach. Um, and she did such an awesome job. Um, you know, wrote many books. Oh, so um, many books, so many books. And I think I read them all. And I think all my friends read them all. I love the one that, that you wrote Sylvia about the, uh, the after death of what people were doing, famous people in Hollywood were doing on the other side. <laughs> right? <laughs> Do you remember that book? Because I remember that book. She says, I wrote so many books, but, but there are so, so what people from Hollywood are doing on the other side way to, I'm kind of like trying to, she's like, you, you Judy or her? No, me. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote this little book and it was like about people that were like famous people and what they, you know, their transition and what they did on the other side. And I think that the, she said, you know, I wrote a lot of books and famous people do it. It just depends on where you're at. So as you come up, she goes, I've learned a lot since I've even been, been here because, you know, when you're in this world on the earth and she's talking about the 3d, it's different and heavy. And I end up, you know, uh, becoming and having to live in the 3d world. And I had my vices and, and my stuff. So as we come up here, people, yeah, there are famous people doing I, I know it was that was kind of a little joke I think she did a lot more meaty things than that but that was a little joke. oh yeah no she did it's fun. And, it's, and it's fun because that's what people want to know people are always like what's Elvis doing what's I mean I get I, I get all kinds I, of questions think, sometimes and it's like and, and sometimes it was yeah go ahead I remember reading for somebody and um uh oh god Patrick Swayze came through and I ended up until I was able to do the full circle with another person, he was there and they're like, well, but he's Patrick Swayze. I said, yeah, he's, he, being Somebody. an actor is a job. It's a job. 
It's so funny you said that my brother who loved the doors, who's crossed over, he like he can jam with them now if he wants to. How cool is that? Yeah, he's up there with Jim Morrison and uh, all these people. I mean, it's great. I mean, we don't, there's no difference. Um, I'm sorry, it seems like my, my, my computer is a little bit. Okay, maybe it's better now. You seem now. fine. You seem fine. Okay, it just seemed like I was kind of talking slow, but maybe. Okay, I, I, didn't I come just. Off. Okay, awesome. Okay, good. I just took away some things in the back, so it seems like I'm better now. So I'm um, curious. Can I ask Sylvia a question? Yeah, absolutely. So I want to ask Sylvia. Sylvia, you said you you've learned even more things over there. Can you bring that to us? What else have you learned over there that you didn't know here? Because you well, know I've learned. I've learned what we all know when we're over here but we lure we we don't remember a lot of it when uh, and a lot of it is just the love the mm-hmm. love the love how much we are loved we are so loved down here and um we we get so embedded in the earthly realm and she calls the 3d the earthly realm so uh-huh. what we call the 3d so um but it, we get so caught get caught up in it and she says that you know it's um you you kind of lose you you kind of you you know the love is there you 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 know that god is there you know that we're all we're all part of the divine but at the same time it's it's we you don't really know it until you get up there and if i there was some way that i could just show it and i could get people on the earth to understand that are in their earthly life right now to understand it i understand that they're so loved when they're struggling and they feel so alone they feel so yes it's a pure it's that pure love that we are loved it's that spark that peace that we are a piece of god that god is not forsaken us that we do make choices and sometimes we don't make the best choices, but, but that we are all loved and that we will, um, be God will send us to where we need to be for our purpose. There is a purpose. (laughs) So she can kind of see the bigger picture in the purpose. Yeah. Well, see, that's the whole thing with the great thing is when you move, when you go to the other side, you see everything, you, you know, the knowledge is there. The knowledge, when we come through the veil and we forget why we're even here is, you know, we we forget, but we remember as we go over there. So she's, she's really liking the work she's doing. And she, yeah, yeah, I think she's going to be up there for a bit. She said, um, She said there's a lot going on and there's a lot. She's talking about a big awakening coming to the earth. And is she helping with that? Yeah. And she's helping with the people that are coming up. There's going to be, yeah, there's a lot. She, um, is there anything you and I, Judy, can do to help with that? Does she, can she advise us? She says, keep doing what you're doing. Keep spreading love keep on spreading the light. Um, she said, learn more about the Gnosticism because it's about love. It's about, it, it, it will help because it's okay. pure. It's pure. It's of God. Um, she goes, I know your hearts are pure of that. And I know that you want to do the right thing. And, and it's really kind of, she's really just kind of letting us kind of get on track. So, and everybody out there who's listening, um, it, you know, it's, that's important too. And she says, you wouldn't be here listening today if you didn't need to be here to get a message. Um, and that, um, and she says not to worry so much. She said, she said, worry. She goes, and I know she's, she's, she's laughing. She, I, she's over here laughing. And she's just like, and she's got this gravelly laugh, you know, and she's just like, like, hey Sylvia, easier said than done down here in 3D, but we're working on it. We're trying. She says, yeah, and, and that's all she says that's all you can do. She says, you guys are leaders. You guys are the leaders in and and there's a many, and she's talking about light workers as far as not just you and I are the ones leading the pack, but it's like we're all as light workers, we're leaders. We're down here in, you know, leading people into the fifth dimension, which is really tough. 
just getting them through the fourth dimension, getting them to to fizzle, to go up and come back down and to, to work on that. But she just says, um, she says, keep doing what you're doing. This is a really good start. And she says, I'd love to come back again someday. Um, and I, yeah. um, Hey, ask her, is this the radio show she was talking about for me? As she's a laughing. Career? She was, I knew you were going to ask me something like that. <laughs> she says, yes. She says, I do remember you. Um, I remember, and that's saying you, because you remember things, remember she, where she's at. She knows everything up there, right? And she said that, uh, she said, yes. She said, you're going to be being heard um, it, it's almost like there's going to be podcasts of things. This is growing. This is just the beginning, but this is the beginning of what she was talking about. She says that people are going to know your name, Beth. So just, you, oh, really? How fun. That's what she said. You know what I got to tell you? It was so funny when I took that class, she, she had us visualize our guardian angel. So I visualize this girl on a swing with long blonde hair and blah, blah, blah. And I go, this is a bunch of crap, right? I'm like, this can't be real. And then she says to me, I go, I don't, I don't think you'll know who mine is. And she says, she's this beautiful angel on a swing with long blonde hair. And her name is Adeline. And I don't think it's sweet Adeline either, Beth. <laughs> but it was so powerful. It was like, it just, this is such a good uh, thing today because it's reminding me how far I've come and how far I have to go for sure. But thank you. Thank you, Sylvia she, Brown. She, she's so sassy. She would say oh, that to you. And she Beth, what, that. And she, Beth remember and it, what I read to you that day about your guardian angel? I saw the late girl on a swing. How funny is I'm that? Like I'm like the last to believe it. And everybody else says, no, this is your guardian angel. And she looks like this. And I'm like, okay. So I look a little... I got to, I'm a little thick. Sometimes it takes a while. No, it all takes us. Uh, we can all be there a little bit. And she says, um, she says, you know, that, that, that she's, um, she's just in a really good place. So mm -hmm. I don't, any, anything, any other questions? Any or? other questions? Um, well, are there, uh, I mean, I think she gave us a lot of messages. I kind of have one quick question, like mm -hmm. not, Quick, quick but does she have any idea like of the timeline like sometimes you'll talk to me about this shift that's happening to 5d and then you'll say but Beth yeah. you have to remember it can take 2,000 years okay this is a thing is there is some things that are happening right now and I don't want to go way into whoa maybe another show doom and gloom stuff but when she was talking and that's the thing I, I tell her sometimes it's like we don't want to go there but there there is going to be a lot of chaotic stuff going on um, like there isn't already right it's it, it's going to get worse oh. and is and it's and this is the beginning right of, of of fighting through we're in a spiritual war and she's, and she backs that up. And she said, that's why I'm up here helping people that are coming through, um, people who that's have died in battle, you know, and people what's happening right now in like Ukraine or whatever, Ukraine. it's mm -hmm. people who, who, uh, um, they don't know, you know, they, they just, they're sleeping, they wake up, uh, they're not, they're like, what's going on. So it's kind of in that, in that realm of getting them kind of ready for something. Um, do you think the shift will happen in our lifetime predominantly, or do you think it's going to be like our grandkids' lifetimes? Like the big shift to love and light, which is she what says, we believe. It's happening now, but we're breaking through the barriers and we're on the front line. And it's just, it's going to, she goes, come back. She goes, honestly, Beth, come back in like four or 500 years and you'll start seeing, you'll see the shift. She said, the problem with humans is that they in the 3D world basically we have time about, and they don't we have well, time well nobody learns if people start getting this narcissistic power trips they're all on their thing and they don't really care if a bunch of people die I mean I don't want to say that and get political and whatever here but honestly that's where she's kind of going with this and it's like this thing like we're coming through as light workers is like we're fa we're facing the dark and we're pushing through. And she says, prayer is number one, pray, really? 
pray, she pray, said, pray, pray and ask because the more people that pray, she said, if we could get everybody at the same time and the whole earth to pray, she's going to be one prayer. She was, she was even just like 30 seconds. She was, it would be enough to make a change, but it's, there's so and much. They are doing global prayers around the world and things like that. Right. So that's good. And that does help. Um, and she says, the good thing is, is being in the United States where you have the freedoms um, right now um, to do these things, it's taking the power and really taking what you have. So people that are in places that are unable to do what you're doing, that they can come maybe find channels like yours. And the more channels that are out there, the more information they, that they're going to be getting as they move, as they move forward. Um, so this quote is by Zach Lambert. It says the vast majority of people walking away from Christianity in America are not rejecting the person and work of Jesus. They are rejecting faulty biblical interpretations that lead to bigotry, oppression, and marginalization. This rejection isn't unchristian. It is Christ-like. Look at you light up on that one, sweetie. You just love I love that. that. When you sent me that this week, I was like, we got to bring that in because that yeah. is so true. It's, yeah. it, it, Cause we have to have a bigger, bigger picture of God, you know, and a bigger, like love, the energy of love. Cause that's what we need. We need that energy. And, and know that that's sweet. And just like Sylvia was saying here, it's, it's about love, right? And that spark, we are part of the divine. We have a soul. The soul is we're in a body bag. We're in a meat bag. Okay. And we get from day one, though, it's all about, you know, oh, gosh, you got a boy, you got a girl, you got this, you got that. Let's buy this. Let's buy that. Let's dress them in this. Let's dress them in that. So we, we have this. Everything's about the 3D. And, and so it's about really nurturing that that sense of the divine that's in every single Everybody. one of us. And and I think that that's what we're learning. And unfortunately as humans in the 3d world is that we need to really kind of feel the pain a little bit sometimes and i'm talking generally for you know in our 3d world here that we need to feel the pain in order for us to really start making those changes to be teachable um, get humbled and, and teachable right and they've said right now that um a, that there's so many people in russia right now that are going back to church so mm -hmm. sometimes these things bring people to to God and there's good churches out mm -hmm. and there's good churches out there even if they walk into the church by themselves or in a holy place and they just say their prayers they do whatever they have to do where they have to say it out but yes exactly find that higher wisdom that's inside of them find that strength find that God she's like that God given strength that ability we all have it. It's she, a spark. She, she had a lot of strength, Sylvia. You had a lot of strength. You were a strong woman, very strong. You really helped the planet in a lot of ways. She really, she really did. And um, and now, you know, she's helping people over there right now, but she's here to help people here. And she's like, I'm glad to come on your channel um again anytime. Um, okay. We'll have you and back. <laughs> we'll, we'll move forward. Do you have any other questions or for her? Before I don't she... know. I just, any last words of wisdom before we close out today? She just said from me or for Sylvia? From okay. you, from Miriam, for my sister, from okay. Sylvia, from God. I don't care. Just some wisdom. She says, I have given you the, she's just so funny. She's like, I've given you the wisdom that I can give you today. So um, until next time, I'm going to say goodbye. All right. So we all are enlightened and wiser for this experience. She just, she's so funny. It's like, okay, I'm done. Cut out. Um, but that's <laughs> Sylvia, right? Um, um, you. As far as your sister, she says, I love you. I love you, sissy. I love you. I know I didn't get to say a whole lot today, but maybe next time. But she says, that was beautiful. I love Sylvia. She's doing so much over here. And I'm, you know, I'm here for you every day. 
Thank you, Sissy. As far as Marion, she says, Judy, um, and anybody who's listening, you guys, this is all love. As you, as you can hear from Sylvia, it's, it's, it's pure, it's true, it's real. It's, it's real. All, it's in every single human being. If even people that you look at and go, I hate that person, they're, they're evil, they're whatever, they're, they were born and they have that divine light. You might not understand them. They might be a little bit twisted. There might be a lot of, who knows? We don't know their story. Okay. And that's not for us to know what the story is. As a is. psychotherapist, I say amen <laughs> to that. Because really, if you can look deep at somebody's story, I don't care if you're a murderer, you know, there is a reason. Everything, I always tell clients, everything we do is an attempt to get a need met. If we can find a better way, we will. And I think that's part of what this show is about, trying to find better ways to be on the planet and to let love win. Thank you, Judy. Absolutely. So let's sending out lots of love and light on this beautiful, I know it's a beautiful day here, a beautiful sunny day. At least it's on April 1st, April Fool's Day, everybody. Um, and, you know, stay safe and know and that. If you <laughs> like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. It helps our channel to grow. And write a note below or send us an email if you have any questions, if there's anything you want us to talk about, anybody else that you might, anybody you might want us to bring in, you know, let us, you know, be, you know, become part of our, you know, as, as our community grows, you yeah. know, we're going Let's to be make us a community of, of loving, you know, enlightened people helping That's each other. Yep. And then as soon as we get up to a certain amount, we're not really sure yet, but I don't know, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be doing a live show. We just want to know that people, you know, we're going to have a nice little show for people. So anyway. All right. Bon so, okay, guys. Bye-bye now. Many Thanks. blessings. Bye-bye.